Dear family, uh, today I would like to speak to you about the respecting of authority. God placed authority in place for us to respect. And whoever does not respect authority, the consequences of that, it's so hard. Like, they, 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 they are dangerous because you can end up being like Miriam. Remember the story of Miriam in the Bible where he, her and Aaron were speaking bad about Moses. Moses was, Moses was a man that God chose to lead children of Israel, children of Israel out of Egypt. But as they go along, uh, Miriam and Aaron spoke bad about him and God was angry to them because they spoke bad about him and he struck Miriam with leprosy. The Bible says Miriam was white than snow because of the leprosy. That was the expression of anger from God. For God does not want us to speak bad about people that he put in authority. For when we despise or when we disrespect people that God placed in authority, we do not we do not disrespect those people, but we do we disrespect the person that placed them, which is God. And by doing that, when you check the Bible, the Bible says Moses prayed for Miriam, and Miriam was excluded from all the nation from children of Israel and was put placed out of the camp for seven days. So meaning children of Israel were supposed to wait for Miriam to be healed or to be cleansed after that seven days. Meaning that's a actually that thing caused the whole nation of Israel to slack down. Because in that seven days they should have reached far but because of disrespect from these two people, they end up dragging them, dragging the whole nation back. It's like us here. If we disrespect our president, we're not going anywhere. Look, when you check the, they, they, they should have, they waited for seven days for Miriam to be cleansed. Because that was the custody of the, when they, the, the custody the custody that was supposed to be carried on whenever somebody was uh, leprous, was found leprous or was healed from leprous. So even us, if we disrespect the authority that God gave our president, we're not going forward. Instead, we are going back until we come in our sense that we must respect the authority that gave, God gave our president. We'll be seeing this thing this thing that, that, that South Africa is facing now, a poor nation, lack of jobs. But if we come to our sense and start respecting our president, everything will be fine. We'll be taken to a greener pasture, like children of Israel. They were promised Canaan, where the place was flowing with milk and honey. Also us, that also applies to us. If we start respecting the authority that God gave our president, will be like them. We'll go to that nation, the, the, the place, the, the, the time where our our nation will be flowing with milk and honey. And that's, I think that's all what we all want. I don't think there's anybody wishing to be poor in, in, in this society. But we cannot do it. We cannot go, we cannot reach there unless we start respecting authority. Yes, we are human, we make mistakes. The Bible says David was a man after God's heart. Even though he did a mistake, but he was still a man after God's heart. He killed, he slept with somebody's, some, someone's woman, and he killed the husband. But still, God says, you are a man after my heart. Why? Because God knows that we do mistakes. We are human. We, do. we never will never be perfect. Instead, we are growing into perfection through Christ. For on our own, we cannot do anything. We cannot 
be perfect on our own. That's why Jesus Christ came and died for us, so that we can be perfect in the eyes of the Lord. Because when the Lord looks us on our own, He sees sin. But if He look us through Christ, we are all cleansed, we are all perfect. So God never chose a righteous man, because He doesn't want the man to be to, 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 to take the glory for Him, saying that I am righteous, I am perfect. That's why I'm chosen to do this. No. Our president also is a man. They do mistakes. There might be mistakes that they did. Yes, I don't think out there there is one person that says he's never done any mistake. I don't think so. We all human, we do mistakes. Other mistakes are worse than the president did. So we must respect him as we we did mistake, and then we ask, we we expect God forgive us to forgive us for our mistakes. We also need to forgive him. Actually, it's not even our it's not even our business. It's God's business to deal with him after doing mistakes. So we must not instead the Bible tells us that instead of judging them, we should be praying for them. Instead of judging our president, we should be praying for him to be a better person to change. Because we as human we cannot change another man. But it's God himself that changes a man. So my family, I will ask us as a nation, as South Africa, to respect our president. For when we do not respect our president, do you think that will be also respected by other countries? If a child does not respect their parents, do you think people around that child or neighbors, will they respect that child? They will not, definitely, definitely not. So, also us, we need to respect our president for us to be respected by other nations. I think I made myself clear that we not, we are not perfect. God knows that we are not perfect. That why, that's why He sent Jesus Christ to perfect us. If we were perfect, what would not? Have sent his only begotten son to die for our sins but because of we are we are not perfect he sent him so that through him we can be perfected so we must not judge we must not blame our president he did a mistake yes we agree but let not those mistakes be an excuse for us to disrespect authority disrespecting authority it's disrespect, disrespecting god God is the author of authority. So if we do not respect authority given by God, we do not respect God. We may say we love God, pray, but we do not respect Him. Especially uh, young people, we must not do what our ancestors did or people in, like our parents do by disrespecting. We are the future of this country. So let this start from us. Let's not judge or disrespect our president. Let's start respecting our president and we will see bright future ahead us. The Bible says if you do not respect your parents, you go going nowhere. He is our the president, is our parent. He's our father. He might not be our blood father, but he is our father. Any person that is older than us, it's either a sister or a father or a mother or a brother. He is our father, so we must respect him and we'll see. Our nation will grow. Our nation will be shining to other countries than to, to other countries. When other countries seize this nation, they will glorify God for this nation. This touched me and it hurt me to see people disrespecting the person that is in authority and placed by God. There is no authority without God that you should know. That wherever you are, if you are a supervisor at work, if you are head of a family, 
you did not choose to be in that place but God placed you there because he trusted he trusts you that you can handle that so it's not a matter of you being smart you being intelligent you being innocent or you being sinless we all do sin we all have a mistake we all do mistakes and one thing that can help us to respect and grow in respect to our president it's this the word of god if you do not read the word of god how will you respect because this weight teaches us that we should respect anything that the god want us to know it's in this way so if all of us especially us youth we can focus on god and read his weight they will know there will not be any person to stop us being to respect so family i pray that we all respect the authority given by god and by his grace we will succeed in life but if we still not respecting the authority given by god we do not actually we will pull ourselves and our nation back we won't go forward we will stay in one place but if we start respecting this authority god will see that we are willing to change and he will prosper us our country will be a shining country to other countries people will be coming in our country to learn the way we live to learn how we do things if we respect the men in authority we may say he never went to school he does not have great wealth but God chose him to be in that place like it or not he was chosen by God he might not be praising God in front of us but God put him there every authority in this whole world in this whole world it's placed by God and we must respect that authority pray for him pray for our cabinet pray for every person in authority by doing that i promise we'll see the blessings of god